We have some social media questions. Kevin59 tweets, with death rates so high, why aren't most health professionals required to complete suicide prevention training? That is your area. That's uh, your question to the yeah, world. Uh, I, I wish we had a good answer to that. They, they should be required. The American Medical Association should require training for people in medical school and continue ed. The American Psychological Association should do the same. It, it is a lot of competing interests out there for our attention in right. what we should be trained in. So. WV Tall Sheik uh, via Twitter asks, does a viable profile exist that would help in predicting those at risk? A viable profile. Uh, sure. So we can start there as a base. Then we can look at some of the other kinds of things that you heard about today, and we can see somebody who might be getting closer and closer to that. So yes, there is a profile. And, and I would say, too, this is a little bit of a corollary to that. As you mentioned, the substance abuse issue, again, if you're going to a primary care person and you're giving a medication, you may be missing what's really going on. In my, in my world, addiction is so much the underlying issue it leads to, de leads to suicidality. And if you don't treat the addiction, you can't treat the depression, and you can't expect to intervene on the suicide. Rona Barrymore on Facebook asks, what are the statistics of suicide survivors attempting suicide again? It varies. It's from anywhere from, um, well, you have about 25% that will reattempt uh, within a year. You have about another 25% within two years. So it is very high. And, and the recurrence on depression, even a well-treated depression, is 50, 60%. So Do you people... try it again, Patty? No. No, you I You try can't. it again, Susan? No, I'm in a great place. Me too. <laughs> Uh, Alias Sadiq asks, the number of soldiers who die from suicide dramatically outnumber combat death cases. How do you think these soldiers should be prepared before they're sent and after they come back? I'm not sure you can prepare them for this. More about when they, after they come back. Yeah, there, there's resiliency training now. That's a very big thing within the military, um, and helping them learn coping skills. Uh, but it is more about when they come back, and, and we don't do enough for them yet. Uh, a Google Plus... Uh, J. Bobby Stevens wants to know, why are in schools don't have a section or a teacher to talk about suicide? I, I, you listen, think so, I, Patty? I, yes. I, I think they should. Yeah, I think I, sort of, there needs to be a life class that includes all mental illness and suicidality and relationships. I mean, there's so many areas that we don't educate our kids about because, that's right. well, that's in the home.